Hey guys, welcome back to another video of Farming with Car. Don't forget if you like what you're seeing, don't forget to subscribe, comment, hit that thumbs up button. Let's get into it. As you can tell, we are in the combine. And what does that mean for us? That means we're going to go harvest some peas today. Now they might not all be ready. We might not be harvesting all of them, but we're going to go up and try it today. We've had plenty of heat and sunshine to try and dry these peas out. It's about 94 here today in Indiana, so it's a warm one. But we're going to go try out pea harvest, see uh, what the moisture is on the peas, see how they're flowing, feeding, and we'll go from there. So I am in a John Deere machine. We are written a 9760 uh, S2S. That's a 2005 model. We are renting this to pick up our peas. Uh, we've got an older John Deere 212 pickup head right here on the front that we've done a little bit of modifications to work on this machine. We're trying to be as cost effective as we can be and this is our first crop of peas. We don't want to spend too, money, too much money on these peas and then realize we don't want to deal with them. So we're being cost effective. We've got a great setup here though to do some pea harvest. So let's get to it. I'm driving up to the field now. I've got about 35 minutes left to get up there. Then we'll get you some live action that was harvesting some peas today. So, let's see you at the field. Can you see any peas in the, in the tank yet? Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, I mean it's coming in. First pea harvest for this farm is underway. We got our John Deere out here just a screaming, just giving her the onion, harvesting through these peas and all this chicory. So it's a big day on the farm here. First pea harvest ever. Hashtag pea harvest 2020. Come on, how exciting is that? So that's pretty neat. So we're out here getting her done. Rick's out here harvesting the peas today. Having a heck of a time in there. Looks like he's able to run at a pretty good clip, probably five mile an hour or so, which is good because there's uh, 115 acres of peas out here. So we got to get them picked up and get this forage planted. Now, with that being said, harvest has lasted quite a few days, so this video is several days in the making, uh, simply because we've had a lot of combine trouble. Uh, the mechanics have been out here two or three times uh, to fix this combine that we're renting. So that's pretty unfortunate, but they seem to have it back together now and it seems to be holding up pretty strong. So cross my fingers. Hopefully nothing else happens again today and we can keep rolling. But pea harvest is underway and going strong. So let's keep getting after it. Get a little clip of us unloading some peas. Uh, once he's empty and done loading, I'll go back up there and I'll take a handful out and you can see what we're looking at here, what we're dealing with. Dealing with yellow peas. Anyways, like I was saying, these peas were planted on April the 7th. So we got them in plenty early. Uh, ideal for these, like for people farming out in Kansas, they like to plant them in February, believe it or not. And I don't know, I don't know with our climate here if we could get them in that early just simply because we're too cold I'm not sure but April the 7th is when they were planted and now we're harvesting them so middle of July we're harvesting them 
we're honestly probably a week late harvesting them but we're out here getting her done combines rolling now we've only got about 30 acres left the harvest uh, the wind's starting to pick up here it looks like a storm's really thinking about blowing in here's some of the peas we've got in the truck now let me see if I can get my big old tushy in there <clears throat> guys a sample here. So here's what the peas look like. They're a yellow pea. So they're similar to soybeans. Similar color. Let's see if I can do the old moisture test here. Hmm, ma'am. These peas are dry. These peas are probably... 10 11 percent yeah that one's probably 14 I think they'd like to take them anywhere from 10 to 14 percent so I think we're in that realm I don't think we're drier than that but it's close with the combine being broke down for a couple days they had a couple extra days laying here in the heat so they might be a little drier I don't have a moisture tester out here with me to test it but they might be a little drier, but what's the matter? We're harvesting peas. First time in Indiana for us harvesting peas on this farm. We're getting her done. Come on now. Here's what one looks like after he's picked it up and spread it. Looks like the choppers are doing an okay ch job chopping it. Not bad considering the amount of material that's coming through the combine. So here's the one rose. Let's open one up here. See if we can find some peas. So here's a pea right here. Here's a pea plant. These peas have got these pods. This one's got two to a pod. Just like from the trailer, the loads in the trailer, these peas are awfully dry. Probably 11%. There's peas out here. There they are. So Rick's still going strong combining. We got probably 25 acres left to pick up. And this field's done. I don't know if the camera picks it up, but to the north over there, it's getting a little bit dark supposedly blowing in maybe give us three or four tenths of rain so we'll see they had it way higher amounts three hours ago up around an inch which would have been awesome but we'll take whatever mother nature can give us our crops down here definitely could use a little bit more moisture but like I said we'll just we'll take what she gives us it's starting to rain at the field I'm gonna go ahead and go ahead and turp these peas just in case we get more rain we don't want to let our pea crop get wet all right guys pea harvest is back underway again I just got the semi here brought up to the field and Rick's rolling in the combine again so it's time to get back to pea harvest And that's a wrap on peas for the year the semi is loaded uh, it's right behind me here 
So I'm about to hop in it, head home. That means hashtag P Harvest 2020 is in the books. So how about that? That's awesome. But I appreciate you guys watching.